what is going on guys i hope you're well uh we just had the weigh-in with canelo alvarez and danny jacobs and a brawl has broken out um firstly i'd like to go on to the fact that uh, both of them look in great shape both of them look very well canelo looked fantastic uh he's looking better and better on the scales um a lot of people you know point towards the mexican beef um but i think listen i know canelo's always going to be tainted with the fact when he comes on the scales people are going to because of the fact that he failed his drug he failed that drugs test but he's this guy this guy trains very hard he's a he's a constant professional and he's he's just a great fighter um he looks fantastic aesthetically he looks brilliant all the time um and to be honest i never see canelo out of shape during fights um brilliant in brilliant condition canelo uh, Danny Jacobs as well, ripped to the bone. We all know Danny Jacobs struggles to make middleweight. He's a massive middleweight. And, you know, that that he's looking to make that advantage uh, come, come fight night. Now, we know that Canelo's got a rehydration clause in there, uh, which he's obviously done that, you know, to gain advantage. We know that when, when Ame Khan fought Canelo, uh, Canelo didn't put a rehydration because Canelo was the bigger man. He didn't want to know deep rehydration clause. So these are little tactics that you use when you're the A side and when you have the power and when you're the money man like Canelo Alvarez is, you can do things like that. Um I think I think I think it's I think it's you know the brawl breaking out was a result of both guys making weight. I think Danny Jacobs, obviously, in my opinion, was the one that actually started it. Um Canelo reacted in a very angry manner. Uh, but I think that's because, you know, he saw Danny Jacobs uh, shoving him. Or, or I think Canelo went, to be honest, Canelo went in first. He put his head there because Jacobs looked, looked quite pumped. He put his head there and Danny Jacobs kind of escalated the situation by by kind of shoving it, putting his head forward and kind of trying to headbutt Canelo. And Canelo, then, it, you know, it all brawl bro broke out and, you know, it all, it all went a bit chaos from there. The teams got involved and... You know, it's unlike these two guys because both of these two guys don't really conduct themselves in that manner. But I just think uh, Danny Jacobs said after, I just wanted to let Canelo know that, you know, this is serious business now. Um, I think Canelo's been there so many times. I don't think he's going to be affected or this is going to, this is going to, you know, affect him in the slightest, if I'm totally honest with you. If anything, you know, for Danny Jacobs, this is going to spur Canelo on. Uh, so if I, you know, if I was Danny Jacobs, I would just... I wouldn't want to spur Canelo on because Canelo is an exceptional talent, um, and I just think um, Danny Jacobs is a very is a very very good fighter. I think he, like I said, he's going to come and put it all on the line. He's going to bring it. He's going to bring the heat to Canelo. Um, you know, I, I think I think Canelo is going to win though. I generally do think Canelo is going to win. I think Canelo's in his prime. He's young, he's fresh, he's got a great resume, he's got a lot of experience. And I just think skills-wise, he's a lot better than Danny Jacobs. I think Canelo's going to win the fight. That's just my opinion. I think Canelo's the better fighter. And I think Canelo um, is going to probably beat him on points. Or oh, I wouldn't be surprised if he stops Jacobs. You know, we saw Golovkin put Jacobs down. I think Can Canelo, uh, the fighter that he is, he can go one better and even stop him. Um, I do. Uh, I do feel that. I think Canelo's shown throughout his years that he's got a granite-like granite, granite -like chin. It's going to be very difficult for Danny Jacobs to knock him out. And I think that's his only myth. I think that's his only way he wins. I don't think he beats Canelo on points. A lot of people are saying, well, if it goes to points, Canelo Jacobs will win, but he won't get the decision. I, I don't think he'll even win. I don't even think he'll, out, he'll be able to uh, beat Canelo on points. I think Canelo's a lot more skillful. I think Canelo's very good. Um, I think Danny Jacobs does have power and you've got to, you know, you've got to respect the power. But I don't think it's anything Canelo's not been hit with before. I think Golovkin hits harder. And I think I think if I'm anything, I think Golovkin had a great chin. Uh which I don't think that I don't think Danny Jacobs has a great chin. I think he's he's tough, but I don't think he has a great chin. I think if you get hit him right, he'll go down. Whereas I think Golovkin was very difficult for Canelo because Canelo was hitting Golovkin with the kitchen sink and Golovkin was just not shifting. He was not moving anywhere. So that it got it made it very difficult for Canelo because Golovkin would just keep coming and keep coming. I don't think um, Danny Jacobs could receive that kind of punishment. Um, not so much his toughness. It's just the fact that I think if you were to hit him on the button, I think he'd go down. Uh, whereas I think Golovkin and Canelo show, showed in their two fights that they had together that they were getting hit on the button regularly and it wasn't. It, it didn't even ever 
looked like they were ever going to go down in the fight. And both of them are, are, are known big punchers in the sport. So, you know, I, I don't really see Danny Jacobs having much of an effect. You know, who it's boxing at the end of the day. And who knows, if you get caught with a clean shot, you could go. But what Canelo uh, Canelo shown in his career so far is that, you know, his chin is granite and it's it's not easy to... It's not even easy to tittle this guy, let alone put him down and knock him out. So, you know, I think if anyone is going to get knocked out in this fight, I think it's Danny Jacobs. And I think Canelo's a, he's got the better skill. So I just think Canelo's going to win the fight. Uh, I think this uh, this heated exchange that they've had, but a uh, brawl kind of mini brawl that you can say uh, has spiced things up, made more things more exciting. But who's it going to benefit, Canelo or Jacobs? Uh, I think Canelo's been here before, so this is not new to him. You know, he's, he's he's seen many fighters, many great fighters do, you know, try to get under his skin before. So, like I said, it's not going to really affect uh, Canelo one bit. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think uh, in the comment section below. How did you view the weigh-in? What did you make of it? Did you think Danny Jacobs, who do you, who do you think, as you would say, won the weigh-in? Who, who won the first round? Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.